Alright, so we learned about the linear outcomes 3.2c which is compare the atomic radius of an element and its corresponding ionic radius. So we have K ions and also the anions. As we know, K ions terbentuk okay, apabila an atom loses its valence electron. When the electron is removed from neutral atom, kita akan produce K ion. And remember, K ion is always smaller than corresponding neutral atom. Kenapa K ion kita lebih kecil berbanding? atom biasa it because the positive ion has lesser number of electrons but the number of protons remain the same ok untuk neutral atom katakanlah neutral atom kita adalah X X proton numbernya adalah 11 jadi proton number bagi X adalah 11 elektron bagi X juga adalah 11 sebab X adalah neutral atom So now, when X become a K ion, contohnya, one positive the charge, the proton number will always remain the same. The difference is now pada electrons. The electron akan jadi sepuluh because we remove one of the electron to produce X1 plus. This is the K ion. Okay, jangan tersalah benda ni eh sebab some of the student even though kita remove number of electrons okay, ada yang still buat salah lagi pada proton dia ingat proton pun jadi 10 tak boleh eh proton tetap maintain 11 elektron yang berubah therefore the remaining electrons experience greater attraction towards the nucleus thus positive ion smaller than its neutral atom so jadi elektron yang tertinggal ini disebabkan kita dah kurang satu jadi attraction towards the nucleus tu lebih stronger lah untuk dia orang katakanlah eh kita ramai adik beradik Okay. katakan kita anak yang ke 10 anak kita anak yang ke 10 and then uh, parents kita bagi kasih sayang terpaksa divide dengan anak pertama ke 2 ke 3 ke 4 ke 5 ke 6 ke 7 ke 8 ke 9 ok ke, jadi macam nak kata dapat sama rata pun tak sama rata sangat kita nak bolok semua kali sayang pun tak boleh sangat jadi bilanya salah seorang katakan kakak yang ke 8 pergi pergi ke boarding school abang yang ke 7 uh, pergi boarding school kakak pertama kahwin of course yang remaining remaining tu akan lebih mendapat more 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 kasih sayang attraction more 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 dengan parents ok macam itulah contoh dia ok so now let's see kita punya anions anions uh, is a negative ion ok when an atom gain electrons bila atom kita gain electrons jadi kita akan hasilkan uh, atom yang bercharge negative ok so a negative ion has more electrons than the neutral atom it gains electron a negative ion lebih besar berbanding neutral atom kalau tadi untuk K ion, K ion lebih kecil berbanding neutral atom tetapi however negative ion is always larger than corresponding neutral atom. Why? Because of the electron, electron repulsion increases. Macam I bagi tahu dahulu kita ada inner inner electron repulsion. Remember? Inner inner electron repulsion. Okay tolakan antara inner-inner electrons kita tahu inner-inner electrons ini sentiasa ber, bertolak antara satu sama lain mereka me, menolak antara elektron yang sama orbit dengan diorang dan juga mereka menolak antara elektron yang different orbit orbit from diorang dan ataupun different energy level, bukan orbit different shell, ok, daripada diorang so these inner electrons akan repel Okay, the electrons yang berada di sisi dia, di belakang dia dan juga di hadapan dia. Okay, jadi apabila adanya incoming newbies, okay, newbies nak masuk, okay, new electrons nak masuk, of course dia tak akan coming that new electrons with open hand. Sama juga macam you all, kalau you all dah kahwin, husband you all nak kahwin lagi satu, you all tak akan welcome the new wife dengan open hand and said, datanglah kahwin dengan husband saya no kan, you akan try to reject dia, you akan try to repel her as well as you can, the same thing dengan 
inner inner electrons okay they are akan try to repel okay the incoming electrons okay that's why the electron electron repulsion akan bertambah once that incoming electrons masuk ke dalam kita punya shell jadi dia akan menambahkan lagi the inner inner electrons di patient ataupun the electron electron repulsion okay so the repulsion cause the electrons to spread out and experience less attraction towards the nucleus hence the outer shell expand the same lah relati dengan kehidupan kita kalau hasil kita kawan lagi seorang kita ada madu of course kasih sayang tu dah terbahagi dua less attraction to us more attractions Okay, towards the new wife The same thing So the repulsion cause the electron to spread out As well less attraction towards the nucleus So remember that concept Okay Comparison of atomic radius with ionic radius As you can see here The key ion always has smaller size Compared to neutral atom However, untuk anion The neutral, the neutral atom Has always have The smaller size compared to Anions so this is an example okay uh, it means kita tengok tengok perbezaan antara the differences between the sodium atom and also the sodium ion so let's see the electronic configuration first the electronic configuration for the sodium atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s1 well for the sodium ion 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 because it has lost one of the electrons when we calculate the effective nuclear charge, as you can see for the sodium atom, it will be positive 1, while for the positive ion, Na+, plus, it will be positive 8. So, sodium ion has greater than effective nuclear charge compared to the sodium atom. As I told you before, the ion always has smaller size compared to sodium atom because the self is greater. Number of shell is 3, number of shell is 2, okay, because, you know, we have removed the balance electrons, that's why N equal to 3 is no more. Therefore, NA has greater shielding effect. Okay, this one is SP in terms of shielding effect. Of course, the sodium atom has greater shielding effect because it has greater number of shell, more electric electron repulsion compared to sodium ion. And then, nucleus attraction for the sodium atom is weaker. However, nucleus attraction for the sodium ion is stronger. Size is much more bigger and size is much smaller. So, this is the explanation. Must have these four points. Sodium release one electron to form the sodium ion. The removal of electron making the electron-electron repulsion decreases. Jadi, bila kurangnya satu elektron, jadi elektron atom repulsion tu akan berkurang. Therefore, nucleus attraction, okay, towards the balance electron much more stronger. Ataupun, the attraction between the nucleus and the balance electron become stronger in sodium ion. Therefore, the size of sodium ion is smaller than the sodium atom. So, let's see the example for anion. For anion, as you can see here, we are comparing between Cl atom and also the chloride ion, Cl minus ion. The tonic configuration for the Cl atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 2 5 While for the chloride ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p6. Okay, the difference is in the 3p. For Cl minus ion, it's 3p6, while for the Cl atom, is 3p5 because now the Cl atom, when receiving one more electron, it will become the Cl minus ion, chloride ion. When we calculate the effective nuclear charge, as you can see here, the Cl atom, the effective nuclear charge is plus 7. Cl minus ion is also plus 7, the equal number of Z, and also the equal number of shell, and also, of course, the equal shading effect. But where is the differences between them? The difference between where is at the electron repulsion. The Cl atom has less electron repulsion, while the Cl minus ion has greater electron electron repulsion. So when the electron electron repulsion is greater, therefore the nucleus attraction towards the valence electron is weaker, hence the size will be bigger. This is the explanation. The 
Cl atom accept one electron to form the Cl minus ion. The additional electrons make the electron electron repulsion increases. Hence, the nuclear attraction towards the valence electron become weaker in Cl minus ion. Therefore, the size of chloride ion is bigger than its Cl atom. Okay, so we're going to the new learning outcome, which is 3.2 DNA. Define the term isoelectronic species and explain the radius of the isoelectronic species. Okay, bila kita tengok perkataan iso, iso maksudnya adalah similar ataupun same. Elektronik, kita refer kepada elektron. Jadi, apa kita tahu daripada perkataan is, uh, isoelektronik adalah same number of elektron, which is species yang mempunyai same number of elektron, hence same number of electronic configuration. Species atau atoms ataupun ions with same electronic configuration but different proton number. It mean dia punya value of electron dia sama. Okay. Therefore, electronic configuration dia sama yang berbezanya adalah pada proton number as it stated here. Jadi, sila hafal apakah isoelectronic species. Now, kalau kita tengok the this table, as you can see here, dia bagi pada you sodium ion, magnesium ion, aluminium ion, and then dia bagi pada you neon, oxide ion dan juga fluoride ion. Jadi, potensi uh, sodium ion 11 proton, elektron dia 10, magnesium ion 12 proton, Elektron dia 10, aluminium 13 proton, elektron dia 10, neon 10 proton, elektron dia 10, oxide ion 8 proton, 10 elektron, fluoride ion 9 proton, 10 elektron. As you can see here, they are, all of them are different species. Ada ion positif, ada ion negatif dan juga ada yang neutral as the which is neon. Disebabkan bilangan elektron mereka sama banyak, jadi elektronik configuration mereka juga adalah sama. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Bagaimana pula dengan value of self? Adakah value of self mereka sama? Memandangkan bilangan elektron mereka sama? Tidak. Bila kita buat calculation value of self, as you can see here, untuk sodium ion, volume of selfnya adalah positif 9%. Tetapi, value of self untuk magnesium adalah positif 10 disebabkan bilangan proton bagi magnesium lebih besar berbanding dengan sodium. Number of shell mereka pun tetap sama banyak sebab kita tengok based on electronic configuration, highest energy levelnya adalah N sama dengan 2. So, apa yang membezakan mereka di sini adalah value of self. Jadi, size, uh, jadi value of self akan determine the size of this species. Lagi higher value of self, hence, lagi kecil lah the size of this species. So, bila kita arrange them, ascending order in size is mean increasing in size. Ke arah ke arah kanan adalah increasing in size. Jadi, kalau kita tengok increasing in size, yang paling kecil mestilah yang paling mempunyai the species that has the smallest size must be the species that has the highest value of self. So, dekat sini yang ada highest values of self adalah Aluminium ion. So, aluminium ion yang paling tinggi self dia. That's so, aluminium ion yang paling kecil. Followed by magnesium ion. Followed by sodium ion. Followed by neon. Followed by fluoride ion. And the biggest size is oxide ion. Because oxide ion as you compare with all of these species, they punya value of self yang paling smaller. Alright. Therefore, macam mana kita nak tulis dia punya explanation? The size of isoelectronic species depends on self. Selalunya, bila you buat bila soalan arrangement and then you arrange, you akan dapat satu markah untuk arrangement. You wajib tulis arrow. Arrow ini wajib ada ya. Okay. And then this one pun you wajib label. Make sure you buat koma, 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 koma tersebut. 
This one yang akan dapat 1 marks. So, all these are isoelectronic species. Ini mesti point yang pertama. Sebab itu, kalau you dapat soalan melibatkan ion, and dia minta you arrange the size of them. That's why you kena determine dahulu, adakah ion itu isoelectronic ataupun bukan. Okay, sebab itu always, always calculate ataupun tulis dia punya electronic configuration. So, ini one point. Proton number decrease daripada aluminium, which is aluminium besar proton number compared to magnesium. Magnesium besar daripada sodium. So, dia punya proton number besar daripada neon. Dia punya proton number besar daripada ion. Proton ion punya proton number besar daripada oxide ion. Therefore, nuclear charge dia decreases. Yang ni, you kena cerita lah. You kena uh, kaitkan dengan dia punya effective nuclear nuclear charge. Uh, you kena cakap lah proton number Uh, decreases from aluminium to oxide ion hence okay the effective nuclear charge decreases okay so therefore nucleus attra nuclear attractions therefore nucleus nuclear attraction is not nuclear here nucleus attraction therefore the nucleus attractions towards balanced electron is weaker from aluminium to oxide ion. Hence, ionic radius increases from aluminium to oxide ion. Yang ini, we explain sikit tentang effective nuclear charge. Okay, dia buat macam ni, nuclear charge decreases. You sebutlah effective nuclear charge tu. Okay, you boleh buat comparison. Okay, mungkin you boleh kata aluminium ion has the highest number ataupun highest value of self. Hence, has the strongest Balance electron attraction towards the nucleus because of effective nuclear charge is greater. Therefore, aluminium ion has the smaller size. Followed by magnesium, followed by solid ion. You boleh buat juga ayat macam tu. Maksudnya kita compare kan kita cerita uh, yang paling highest, uh, yang paling smallest siapa. Selepas smallest tu siapa. Okay, and yang paling kecil siapa. Macam kita buat. Uh, pendahulunya macam muka lima ok contoh yang ini ayat pendahuluan ini adalah kita punya ayat isi alright so bila you nak buat explanation boleh je buat explanation macam ni tak salah tapi detailkan lagi Learning akan F. Analyze the variation in the ionic radius across period 2 and also period 3. So, kita tengok period 3 dahulu. Untuk period 3, kita ada sodium ion, magnesium ion, aluminium ion, silikon ion, phosphorus ion, sulfur ion dan juga chloride ion. As you can see, number of electrons dia dah berbeza di bahagian sini. Daripada sodium ion kepada silikon ion, number of electron mereka adalah 10. Tetapi untuk phosphorus ion ke chloride ion, number of electron mereka adalah 18. Jadi, dia orang group yang difference isolatronic species. Yang ini adalah kategori bagi anion. Yang ini pula adalah kategori bagi K-ion. Jadi, all these K-ion adalah isoelectronic species. While all these anion juga isoelectronic species. Jadi, kita kena explain dahulu in terms of K-ion. Lepas itu, in, explain in terms of anion punya case. And then, barulah kita try to compare both of them. K-ion dengan anion punya. Okay, baru kita buat arrangement. Alright. So, kita tengok explanation dia macam mana. Sodium ion, magnesium ion, aluminium ion and silicon ion are isoelectronic species. Betul disebabkan bilangan elektron mereka sama. So, proton number decreases from silicon ion. Higher proton number compared to aluminium ion. Aluminium ion higher proton number compared to magnesium ion. Magnesium ion higher proton number compared to sodium ion. As you can see here, the proton number. Okay, silicon ion paling highest proton number. Hence, the nucleus attraction towards valent electrons is stronger. Okay, in silicon ion, stronger compared kepada aluminium ion, compared kepada magnesium ion, compared kepada sodium ion. Therefore, size increases from silicon ion. Maksudnya dekat sini, silicon ion ni lebih kecil berbanding aluminium ion, aluminium ion lebih kecil berbanding magnesium ion, magnesium ion lebih kecil daripada sodium ion. You boleh, you boleh just buat. Macam biasalah, so proton number decreases from silicon ion to sodium ion. Hence, the value of Z, hence the effective nuclear charge. D 
decreases okay from silicon ion to sodium ion nucleus attraction towards valence electron also <clears throat> decreases from silicon ion to sodium ion hence the size increases from silicon ion to sodium ion nah, macam tu ok so kita masuk pula untuk anion untuk anion as you can see here phosphorus ion, sulfur ion sulfide ion and chloride ion are isoelectronic species ok kalau kita tengok dekat sini dia punya nilai number of uh, apa proton number, mana proton number dia so proton number kalau kita tengok proton number daripada uh, phosphorus kepada chloride ok uh, proton number dia bertambah eh. so chloride ion ni, Cl ni, Cl minus lebih banyak proton number berbanding dengan phosphorus so phosphorus ni ini dah satu markah so proton number increases daripada P3 minus until Cl minus ini cerita juga tentang dia punya Zeph. Okay, nanti you all cerita lah pasal Zeph dia. Hence, the effective nuclear charge. Okay. Increases. Okay. From phosphide, from, from phosphorus atau phosphide ion to chloride ion. Okay. Therefore, nucleus attraction towards valence electron become stronger. from phosphide ion to chloride ion hence size decreases from phosphide ion to chloride ion ya, dan dah kita dah cerita tentang anion ini barulah kita masuk uh, kepada kita punya cation versus anion yang ni kita kena uh, compare kan lah antara and then buat susunan kita tengok siapa paling kecil siapa paling besar so as you can see here semua kion lebih kecil berbanding dengan anion. Seperti yang kita dah belajar sebelum ini, kion memang lebih kecil berbanding dengan anion. Dia punya size. And and then anion have extra shell and sama dengan 3 compared to kion. As you can see here, number of shell mereka ber, berbeza. Anion ada extra shell. Kalau kita tengok kion shell dia 2, anion shell dia 3. So, extra shell menyebabkan electron electron repulsion pun makin greater ya yeah? okey so nucleus attraction pun makin uh, weaker bila kita ada extra shell sebab kita ada extra electron di situ okey kita ada extra electron repulsion so anion has extra shell compared to kion yang sama dengan 2 hence nucleus attraction to valence electron strengths uh, <coughs> much more bigger in kion compared to anion therefore size of kion smaller than anion so across period 2 kita tengok dekat sini ions ni adalah nitrogen ion oxide ion dan juga fluoride ion jadi kalau kita tengok number of proton mereka number of proton mereka bertambah eh, daripada uh, kita punya nitrogen ion naik kepada fluoride ion fluoride ion 9, oxide ion 8 nitrogen ion 7, tetapi diorang punya number of electrons adalah sama, electronic configuration pun sama, therefore this species adalah isoelectronic species mereka adalah isoelectronic species number of shell mereka juga sama, jadi yang membezakan antara mereka adalah the value of the value of Z so based kepada value of Z ni, kita akan tengok ataupun determine dia punya size So, ayat yang pertama Nitrogen ion, oxide ion dan fluoride ion are isotonic species Proton number increases from nitrogen ion to fluoride ion Hence, the nuclear attraction to a valid electron become stronger From nitrogen ion to fluoride ion Therefore, size decreases from nitrogen ion to fluoride ion. So, this is the reminder for isoelectronic ion. The more positive the ionic charge, the smaller the ionic radius. For isoelectronic anions, the more negative the charge, the larger the ionic radius. Okay. So, uh, that's all from me. Kita akan pergi kepada exercises.